I'm Sean from Shooty School, and this is my Easy Drummer 3 Grooves Tab video for beginners, where I talk slower than normal and attempt a polite demeanor based on user feedback. My Advanced Grooves Tab video is in the description below for when you're ready for the next step after this video, or advanced users may want to skip to it right away. Let's get started. The Grooves tab, which is the second tab here in Easy Drummer 3, it can search your entire MIDI collection that has been installed on your system. It's one of the main tools that helps you find the right beat for your project. Whether it's ToonTrack MIDI, which is included in the ToonTrack Core products, sound expansion products, or drum MIDI packs. You can also search your non-ToonTrack third-party MIDI, or MIDI you've created yourself. I've done a video explaining how to incorporate non-ToonTrack MIDI in the description below. Also, a video called Before You Buy ToonTrack MIDI, which is a must watch for new people coming to ToonTrack. The best way to explain MIDI, if you're new and a beginner, it's simply data laid out in a linear format, meant to be played from left to right, or from beginning to end. And that data triggers certain sounds at certain times. In this case, MIDI is instructing Easy Drummer when to play what drum or instrument at what time so it sounds like a drummer is playing. It's very similar to a traditional music box. The cylinder has linear instructions on it, but does not produce sounds. The comb is what makes the sounds after receiving instructions from the cylinder. So what we see here in the main window of the Grooves tab is literally thousands of music box cylinders that are playing drum grooves, in which Easy Drummer, as we can see on the Drums tab, is receiving the instructions and performing a beat, just like the comb in the music box does. In most cases, these grooves represent just a portion of a song, since they are typically only 1 to 16 measures long and all of these individual MIDI files in the list are identified as grooves. A groove is a drum MIDI file according to ToonTrack. Now that we've identified what and where the assets are in the Grooves tab, now let's discuss how to use the Grooves tab. The layout is not visually intuitive at first because there appears to be many different tools, but the reality is this tab acts as one single search tool and a results area with few exceptions that we'll cover in the next video. Here are the areas that help you search. And here is the area your results from your search criteria can be auditioned. For now, only acknowledge two different areas on the Grooves tab like this. Once we perceive this, life gets easier and your song gets created much faster from the Grooves tab. If you're coming from Easy Drummer 2, this new Grooves tab in Easy Drummer 3 is the combination of the Browser tab and Search tab combined. We'll demystify this clutter right now and be comfortable with the Grooves tab by the end of this video. On the left column, there are folders with every ToonTrack product you own that include MIDI, and they're labeled as such. I have the core program of Easy Drummer 3 installed, a single Easy X called Post Metal, which is a sound expansion that includes MIDI, a bunch of Superior Drummer 3 products, and a few drum MIDI packs installed as well called add-ons. We can see all of them in this column segregated by the product line they derive from. The moment you select a folder, not only will expand into a new column and show you more folders, but more importantly, and remember this, the search area we talked about has been updated to only show you grooves included in the last selected MIDI folder. In this case, we only see Easy Drummer 3's core program grooves. Now, we only see a few grooves in the verse of the R&B song called Clap Along. This search results is not showing any MIDI from my Post Metal Easy X, my Superior Drummer products, or drum MIDI packs because I have the R&B song selected right now. This is very simple and powerful. Remember, for the most part, 
Every time you click something, you narrow your results. We had thousands of grooves in the results area before we clicked on anything. Now we have about 10. I'll hit the clear all filter to reset, which is the best way to start from scratch on the grooves tab. The filter section here is another powerful method to filter your main search results area, except these columns contain more musical and creative terms instead of the more secretarial sorting duty that the folder section provides. Simply select a filter you want, in this case blues. And now not only have my results area been completely chopped down to just a few hundred grooves from a few thousand, they will all be blues beats in one way, shape, or form. You can select multiple filters in any of these filter columns to continue to narrow your search results below. If I change my mind, I right click on a single filter and deselect it. Or I can select the small circle at the top of each column to clear the filters only in that column. Let's keep acknowledging that every time I select or deselect a folder or filter, I am greatly increasing or decreasing the amount of grooves that I can audition in the main search area. My number one tip for this page is this. Before you do anything, always select your time signature. If you're writing in 4-4, you should select it right away. There's no need for you to be auditioning beats in 3-4, 5-4, 6-4, and so on. So that is a huge time-saving tip. Select your time signature right now and firstly every time you come to this tab. Now Tap to Find is its own animal and a great feature that Easy Drummer 3 has to offer. I have other videos on it below. Let's acknowledge real quick that one of its main purposes is to contribute to the rest of the search area simply by being another filter. This complex thing that we're about to see can act as just one more single filter for the whole grooves tab. Here, you can tap on drums or your MIDI controller, or you can color the grid in with dots using your mouse. This is where you perform what beat is in your head quickly to give the Easy Drummer 3's Groove tab an idea of what you're looking for. I'll tap a quick back beat with my mouse. I'll add a hi-hat by first selecting it to get the hi-hat lane below to appear. And alternatively, I'll finish this beat by drawing the notes in on the grid. Now we have a typical backbeat. I'll hit the big yellow search button below. Now that simple beat I just created and tapped to find, it's right here. I can even use it or just simply play it. But the main purpose of this newly created groove is to find other similar grooves that sound like it in the search results area, except we're not giving it folders to sort with or filters to use. We're giving the search results area an actual beat to reference. Like I said, Tap the Find's main purpose, but not its only purpose, is to simply be a filter for the Grooves tab page. Notice the very first groove in the search results sounds almost identical to the tap to find groove we just made. And as you go down the list, the grooves will at least have the foundation of your tap to find groove, but continue to have variations of it. Very cool, very powerful. Lastly, auditioning files is simple, which you just saw me do. You hit the play button to hear a beat. Keep in mind that the playback tempo will not be this tempo we see here in the tempo column, but the tempo down here that Easy Drummer is set to, or the tempo of your DAW when Easy Drummer is loaded inside of it. It's extremely handy to simply hit the down and up arrows on your keyboard after you hit the play button on a beat to hear a seamless transition in time and audition grooves much faster like this. huge time saver. Now, when you found a beat you like, you simply drag and drop it to your song track where you start to build your song. I have plenty of videos on my channel for building your song out. Check below for details. Now let's recap. I'll clear all. 
First, I'm playing in 4-4. I want a blues beat, and I want the drummer's dominant hand to be playing the ride cymbal. Not only that, I prefer to hear the MIDI files from my Easy Drummer 3 core library for this song I want to write. Now I'll hit play and use the arrows of my keyboard to search through my search results area. I like this beat, but I think it's too fast. So I'll select the tempo down here, or in my DAW, and type 90. This groove at this tempo is what I want, so I'll drag it to the song track. Now, for beginners, this will seem like a huge leap forward in finding beats, and it is. But the reality is, is we can go way further on the Grooves tab. I suggest to beginners that you should get down at least what I cover in this video. Not only will it get you started, but it might be all you need and you'll never look back. But make sure you know and understand this bare amount of information about the Grooves tab so you and I can communicate properly about the Grooves tab in my next Advanced Grooves tab video where I'll take your skills to the next level. I also have a few related drum MIDI videos in the description that completely relate to this area. Please comment below if you got something out of this video. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Join my free social Facebook and Discord communities. The links are in the description. And please consider contributing if you watch my videos on a regular basis and I've brought your skills to the next level. Those links are also in the description. I could not do this channel without my contributors. Rock on.